Another stunning betrayal of the American people. Senate Democrats are working to table the impeachment trial for failed DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas through Majority Leader Chuck Schumer. Democrats moved heaven and earth to impeach President Trump twice. During the first impeachment sham in 2019, there was no question the GOP-controlled Senate would hold a trial. Dismissing it wasn't even a consideration for then-Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. At the time, Mr. McConnell referred to it as his constitutional responsibility. Now that the tables have turned, Democrats are laughing in the GOP's face while shredding the U.S. Constitution. Mitch McConnell, of course, naturally silent on this while he's comparing himself to Ronald Reagan. Joining me now is Alabama Senator Tommy Deberville, who sits on the Senate Armed Services Committee. Senator, it's good to see you. Who's, who's at greater fault here, unconstitutional Democrats or the Republicans allowing them to get away with all this unconstitutionality? All of us. Uh, you know, th this should be a trial. This guy's guilty. He's a big liar. He's lied to me face to face at least three or four times since he's been in so-called secretary of our, our border. And, uh, you know, it's a disgrace, Chris, to be honest with you. They've, they've broken the Constitution. They've broken the law. People have been killed. People have been murdered. Uh, we have uh, problems every day with what's happened because of the border. And we don't want to put this trial on. This guy should have been gone a long time ago. Uh, he just one of many that needs to be gone in this administration because it has been a disaster. Well, yes, and, and it's our federal government telling us, hey, we're going to we're going to do harm to our people and you're going to like it and you're not going to say anything about it. And you know what? When when our lieutenants who are doing all of this harm, when they uh, want to do something to you and we're going to let them go when they do when they do harm to you. Meantime, government refuses to play by the rules they, they impose on others. The DOJ will not turn over Biden's recorded interview with special counsel, her senator, even if threatened with contempt of Congress charges. Well, they know that the GOP will never hold the government accountable for any of their abuses. But a Biden appointed judge is slamming the DOJ for allowing Hunter Biden and the DOJ to defy congressional subpoenas, while a Trump advisor, Peter Navarro, they put him in jail for doing the same thing. Doesn't this confirm for everybody who's watching, Senator, that, that this government is no longer a government of, by, and for our people? Chris, this is the deep state. The deep state has been digging in since Donald Trump started running for office, what, six, seven years ago for the first time. They, they attacked him every day. The Department of Justice is corrupt. The FBI is corrupt. These people can't tell the truth. Uh, at hearings, they just... They, they just run around the truth. Hunter Biden should have been in jail already. You know, we know and have seen the documents of, of Joe Biden and his brother and his entire family taking money, going to nine different banks from 22 different countries. That's a joke. This whole place up here is a joke. American people need to wake up and see what's going on because this is not the America that you and I or any of us grew up in. This has totally changed in a short, short period of time. And it's only going to get worse. Seven months can't get here fast enough to the election. I just hope people have, uh, understand what the significance of this next election is, because we cannot put up with four more years of this nonsense. No. And you know what? I, and we need to give Trump some support up there on, on, on the Republican side, because he's not he, he can't do it all by himself. Today, you grilled Secretary Austin, such as he is, on Ukraine's eligibility for NATO. Listen. I heard Secretary Blinken say last week in Brussels that uh, Ukraine will soon be in NATO. You agree with that? that that's that's uh, that's the goal of uh, the NATO members is to at, at some point uh, uh, bring Ukraine into into NATO, and that's certainly something that Ukraine wants to see. Okay, well, he didn't answer your question, uh, Senator, but isn't isn't Ukraine going into NATO exactly the gripe of Russia, which will lead to World War Three? That's the reason we're fighting this war. You're exactly right. And they know that. They know that we've been pushing since 2014 for Ukraine to be in NATO. President Trump held it back. He's actually going after NATO to do their dang job instead of sitting back and, and depending on the American taxpayers. But, uh, Chris, this, uh, this Ukraine business, you know, we've spent over $300 billion since 2014 on Ukraine. $300 billion. That's, that's half as much as we spent on the entire war in World War II. Uh, we, we have got to wake up. Uh, we are printing $80,000 a second, borrowing $80,000 a second, 4.6 million a minute. And we're thinking about giving Ukraine more money to waste. These people can't buy any more houses than what they bought. They've got beach houses all over the world. 
Let's start thinking about our country. Yeah, it's about ready, about ready to be 360 billion, and it's a it's an open commitment. While our border, by the way, Senator, remains wide open. Senator Tommy Tuberville, always a good uh, visit with you, sir. Thank you very much for coming on. Straight ahead.